Today's video is sponsored by Hotel Renovator and Focus Entertainment. All right, let's be honest. Xbox Game Pass has gotten bigger and better than we have ever seen it, and I personally struggle to find where to put my time. That's why today we have the absolute best 30 games that you can play in no particular order. I'm Sonny, your host here at Xbox Central. We're going to start this off with Paul World. This is a game that really took the whole gaming community by storm when it landed, and for good reasons. The game is a literal cocktail of many great features from different genres, all combined into a monster taming package. But despite calling it Pokemon with guns, I don't think Paul World is anything really like Pokemon. It's really a totally different game. Sure, it draws some inspiration from Pokemon, but it turns the whole gameplay on its head. Here you play as a nobody, trying to survive and thrive in a brutal environment that is filled with pals, poachers, black marketers, villagers, and a whole bunch of stuff. But what I've really been enjoying the most about this game is the base building. I am genuinely impressed by how awesome it really is. You can can really build just about anything in this game and I really think that this title is definitely a keeper. Now if you're craving some horror in your gaming life, Game Pass has you covered with the remakes of the cult classic horror games Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake. These remakes are designed to let the new generation of horror game fans experience these classic survival horror games with a modern makeover. These have improved visuals, smoother controls, revamped gameplay mechanics, and both of these games really recreate the spine chilling experience that made the original so popular in the first place. However, if I were to just pick one of these, I would absolutely recommend Resident Evil 2 Remake because it's just much better in terms of puzzles, horror elements, and even the game world. But if you guys want more action-oriented gameplay, then I think Resident Evil 3 Remake, in my opinion, might be that better option. All right, guys, so there's this game that just launched on Xbox now, and I think it's a dream for fans of simulators. I've gotten now to play Hotel Simulator for some time, and if you've ever thought about taking something from scratch and building it up and watching it flourish, I think this is the game for you. Hotel Renovator is an extremely high quality simulator where your job is to restore this hotel that is completely broken down and turning it into your own hotel palace in your vision. Now the gameplay is really satisfying. Unlike maybe other simulators that make certain things maybe tedious, this game has an ingenious way of just dropping dynamite and clearing up the rooms, renovating them in full, and placing furnitures and amenities throughout the entire hotel in a way that you'll definitely like. And if you're someone who has great attention to detail, you can get as customized as you want. You can grab your tools and tear down certain walls, rip wallpaper, rip up the flooring, and do so much more. The good thing is there is over 2,000 items to choose from, and you'll feel very satisfied with what you're doing and all the choices that you'll have. You can then start up your hotel and then start seeing all the guests roll in and try and get that perfect five-star rating. You'll make money from all that hard work. You'll meet some of the quirkiest characters that you'll ever see see in a simulator game and you'll find that all in the game's story mode and that's right this game has a really cool little story mode and there's always like this crazy new gameplay loop that changes up the fun at any given moment i'm personally a big fan of this game and i think you'll love it as well check out the link in the description or in the pinned comments to buy this game you guys will not regret it it's a ball of fun i've had so much fun playing this on xbox and i think you will too Remnants, who kind of came out of nowhere to land on Game Pass recently, and it's the direct sequel to the highly acclaimed From the Ashes title, where you play as one of the few survivors on the planet who have teamed up against these massive monsters and evil gods. This sequel really cranks up everything, from action to loot to even the boss battles to the max. On top of that, Remnant 2 looks stunning on Xbox thanks to the Unreal Engine 5's immense capabilities. This one's really a great option for fans who want to enjoy a more fair-to-play multiplayer shooter experience that doesn't push them to spend money in the games for things that they don't actually need. And for me guys, in my time on this on Xbox, it's honestly been one of the more fun games that I've really gotten to dive into recently, and I just couldn't recommend this more. So Warhammer 40k Dark Tides, a game that many might not have on their list, but I think you should. Dark Tide follows the same co-op gameplay of Vermin Tide 2, where you and your buds take on waves of enemies in this big city, and you get to pick from four classes, each with their own unique skills, abilities, and weapons weapons that you can choose from, and you can really set it according to your playstyle. And Dark Tide really lets you customize your appearance in full for a fully personalized gameplay experience. And really guys, at the end of the day, this is just some insanely fun combat gameplay, some of the most fun that you'll have. This one's available on Game Pass for console, PC, and cloud. The Fallout series really needs no introduction at all. It's a highly loved and adored franchise that it's known for its amazing post-apocalyptic setting, its rich stories, its immersive role 
role-playing elements, and you play as a survivor trying to get by in a desolate world that is filled with mutated creatures, different polarizing factions, unexpected chaos, and brutal weather. And each title in the franchise really brings something new to the table and with Game Pass. You have options to explore the war-torn regions of Boston in Fallout 4, dive deep into the Mojave Desert in Fallout New Vegas, you can dive deep into the ruins of Washington DC in Fallout 3, or if you're really feeling kind of frisky, you can dive into Fallout 76 and experience an online version of this entire franchise. Personally guys, this is my absolute favorite franchise, and I love how Xbox now owns Bethesda and Fallout itself, and these are my absolute favorite games on Game Pass, so I of course could not recommend them more. Alright, I love adding Starfield to these lists, and trust me guys, nobody knows more than me how polarizing this game is. I get it, a lot of you hated it, but there is people like me who have actually poured a hundred plus hours and really had a blast, and one of the reasons is the sheer scale of the game. You could literally spend days and weeks playing this game with still stuff to spare. Sure, there's some parts of this massive space adventure that might feel a little boring at times, but the game's richness really lies in its diverse systems, incredible world building, awesome quest design, fun NPC interactions, and tons of customization options. Now, this is an exploration heavy game that will keep you curious and excited for a while if you can get into it like I did. And personally, I just love space games. And at the end of the day, this plays pretty much like every other Bethesda title, so my expectations might have never really been as high as a lot of other people, so I really didn't expect too much, and if you go into it with that mindset, I really think that you'll enjoy this game like I did. Another space adventure worth putting down on your list is The Outer Worlds. This is a game that I feel is highly underrated, and at the same time, we are getting an Outer Worlds 2 coming to Game Pass in the future. Now, in this game, you play as a space explorer trying to survive a hostile space colony controlled by a corporate board, and your mission in this game is to find a crew, get a ship, and explore the unknown planets around you and find loot and anything of value. And unlike many traditional RPGs, these NPC crewmates of yours also have their own meaningful stories and missions that you explore with them. They'll even help you out in battles, of course, against the hordes of strange monstrosities that you'll come across during your adventure. They also come with their own unique skills and attacks, but the thing that I actually like the most about this game ultimately was the story. Now, I'm not going to spoil it, but there is certainly kind of some twists and turns that, and some tough choices that really kept me hooked throughout this game. Now, Deep Rock Galactic is the ultimate co-op action shooter that I can easily recommend to any FPS lover out there. It's a wickedly fun and addicting multiplayer game where you and your buddy step into the shoes of space dwarves stuck on a mysterious planet trying to survive hordes of alien monsters. Now, I have spent hours playing this game, and one of the reasons why me and thousands of other players love it so much is it really gives you that perfect dose of fun and challenge. It isn't just about blasting away at alien baddies, although that's definitely a big part of it. It's really about working together with your teammates and combining your unique abilities to overcome the challenges that the game throws your way. And honestly, on this entire list, it's one of the more unique and fun games you probably haven't played yet. Sea of Thieves has been out for quite some time now, but guys, this game is as refreshing as ever. It's an open world multiplayer adventure game where you can live out your wildest pirate fantasies with your trusty crewmates by your side, and you can do a whole bunch of pirate stuff in this game, from hunting for buried loot in the depths of the ocean, to fighting intense battles with other hostile pirates using makeshift weapons. This game really shines when it comes to the combat, but you have the ship battles that I really think are truly epic and glorious, then you have the melee fights and the intense gunplay, and this game's just going to keep you busy for a long time. So High on Life is an absurdly fun action shooter that throws you into a wild and vibrant world overrun by junky aliens with an evil plan to turn humans into their own personal drug stash. But worry not guys, you're not in this fight alone against these evil invaders. You actually have this like really unique arsenal of small, loud, crazy alien shaped guns by your side to help you blow these nasty creatures. High on Life is really unlike any other game that I've ever played. It's wacky with a dark sense of humor and it doesn't shy away from absurdity. This game honestly really craves it and on top of its hilarious gameplay and these ridiculous talking guns that really talk crap to you the whole time, High on Life also features a pretty vast world that comes packed with a variety of biomes, each with their own diverse environment and challenges. If you're looking for a unique game, this is one of those games that's going to be pretty unique on this list. Now another action packed adventure game that I've enjoyed on Game Pass is Ghostwire Tokyo. This game throws you right into the heart of the action in a twisted city of fictional Tokyo that 
that is overrun by these strangely mutated creatures. And your goal here is to find out the reason behind this strange happening alongside a group of brave fighters. Now your character has tons of cool looking elemental abilities and skills that you can use to slay these monsters in these fast paced battles. But the thing that really kept me going for hours was the exhilarating parkour that seamlessly is mixed into the combat and guys it's really mind blowing and really a blast to experience. So Lies of P is a solid souls like action game that takes its inspiration from the likes of Bloodborne. Now in this game you take control of a puppet character and he's on a mission to protect the city of Krat from these evil monsters. Now sure Lies of P could do a little bit better with some of the originality but guys there's some elements in this game that don't exist in other souls like action games that I really enjoyed. Things like the trusty legion arm and all the builds and mechanics that come from that. But besides just that part it overall provides really solid gameplay that can be very brutal to beginners of the genre but extremely rewarding for souls like fans who really love a good challenge. Now Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice is the type of game that you should play if you're looking for an unforgettable single player experience. It's an award winning psychological thriller where you play as Senua. She's a Celtic warrior who embarks on a wild adventure to Viking Hell all in search of her lover's soul. Now Hellblade's more like a movie than a video game I'd kind of characterize it as. Your character often experiences severe psychosis and mental breakdowns that come to life with the game's brilliant sound design and terrifying dark environment and things really become so much better with the combat really hitting right at the sweet spots as well. If you guys actually decide to play this game make sure you absolutely play with headphones though that's a big tip for you guys. You'll see what I mean when you do. This is one of the best games on this entire list and one that I just could not recommend more. Now Plague Tale Requiem is another promising action adventure game on Game Pass that I think is a must play for fans who love an emotional story filled with action and suspense. This sequel to Plague Tale Innocence puts you back into the shoes of Amicia and Hugo. Now these are two siblings who continue their journey to find the cure for Hugo's illness. But unlike the first game, Requiem gives you more freedom to tackle the challenges and enemies. You no longer need to hide and run from danger. Thanks to their newfound powers and abilities, you can now fight back enemies and face obstacles head on. This is a fun one and you can still dive into it if you've never played the first one. Definitely give this one a shot if you are interested in an awesome adventure. Now if you're a Halo fan like I am, you're definitely going to enjoy this. But if you're new to the franchise guys, you're in luck. The Master Chief Collection on Game Pass combines six mainline Halo games in a single package for an ultimate adventure. This collection not only brings all these games together, but it also enhances the visuals. It improves the gameplay mechanics and it even introduces some new modern features. This collection is great for both old players looking to relive some of these classics and new ones who want to experience a thrilling co-op split screen gameplay with their buddies. This has been one of my favorite franchises as a kid growing up from the original Xbox. And guys, if you've never experienced this franchise or you want to relive those moments, dive into this one. Now, speaking of co-op, if you're looking for a game to play with your partner or your buddy on Game Pass, you have to look no further than my absolute favorite split screen co-op game, It Takes Two. This game's been loved by everyone, especially me, for its brilliantly designed gameplay that's equal part challenging and rewarding. You play as Cody and May, two puppet characters who are stuck in an unknown world and you and your partner take control of each character and your job is to find a way out. For that you'll have to complete a ton of challenging tasks, tackle obstacles, solve puzzles and explore new and gorgeous worlds as you go. And the best part about this game is that this title it never really gets repetitive. You're always facing new puzzles and challenges that keep you engaged for plenty of hours. And one thing that I do want to know you have to work with your buddy or friend or your partner because if you guys don't work together and you don't coordinate you will lose plenty of times. Now there's a good chance you've heard or have played No Man's Sky but if you haven't and you have Game Pass you guys are missing out on a gem. It did have a rough start when it first launched but the game is now in a very very good place. This massively procedurally generated open world adventure game lets you do a plethora of things including losing hours of sleep but one of the cool things that I enjoyed was trying to build cool looking bases and I certainly emphasize the word trying because it's definitely one thing that I sucked at but I think you'll enjoy it. You'll also be exploring the unknown parts of curiosity out, out in the universe. You'll be taking part in community events that have gotten so much better especially over the past few months. This is a great game. It's also available on console, cloud, and PC. If you're someone who loves a good adventure that's quite unique, I feel Grounded might be that game for you. In this title you are shrunken down to half the size of an ant and your task is to get yourself back to normal and for that you have to explore this familiar yet totally different backyard universe that is filled with a variety of creatures and 
and challenges that once looked harmless. Survival is a big part of this game. You'll need to gather resources, you'll have to build shelters, you'll have to get weapons to fight these now massive creatures, and you can choose to play this completely solo, or you can go with some buddies and some other players and make this wild adventure into a tiny world much more fun and exciting. Now, Psychonauts 2 is another promising title that builds upon the success of its predecessor. In this game, you take control of a psychic named Raz, who's tasked to find a mole that has secretly infiltrated the organization. Now, Psychonauts gameplay combines traditional platforming with some cool mind-bending psychic powers, which allows you to explore people's minds, find clues, solve puzzles, and of course, fight enemies in thrilling battles. Overall, it's a really fun game that's received a ton of love from players and critics alike. I'm a big fan, and it's why I recommend it and put it on this list. Now we don't have a ton of indie games on this list, but this is an exceptional one and if you're looking for a mind-bending puzzle game, you should definitely give Cocoon a shot. It might look simple, but don't fall for its cute looks. Cocoon has a pretty complex gameplay at its core. There are worlds inside worlds, fit into these orbs that you carry around on your back and explore at any time, and these worlds are all interconnected and you have to dive into each one. You have to manipulate the environment and you have to rearrange objects to solve some pretty mind-numbing puzzles. It's quite difficult to explain this game, but it's a great one for those who enjoy a good puzzle. Persona 3 Reload is one of the best JRPGs available on Game Pass. Now, this is a remake of the beloved 2006 JRPG that comes packed with new content, enhanced graphics, improved voice acting that breathes a little bit more new life into this classic experience of the original, and Reload combines the traditional turn-based combat with social simulation elements where you play as this high school student and you have to balance your life between battling supernatural creatures in this mysterious shadow world, and then of course building relationships with other students in your real life. The Persona series has received a ton of love from players all around the world. This one's no different. Guys, I'm personally not a JRPG fan, but the Persona series is an exception, so that doesn't give you an idea how much I love this series. You should definitely give it a shot, even if you're not a fan of JRPGs. Now, another standout indie game, and one that I might say for me was Indie Game of the Year in 2023, is Sea of Stars. This is a great looking pixelated role-playing adventure that combines nostalgia with innovation, offering a modern twist on classic RPG gameplay. Now in this game, you take control of these two kids, and you embark on a wild adventure to save the world from the evil Fleshmancer and his minions. Now here you get to explore this vast and gorgeous pixel world that's filled to the brim with challenging obstacles and enemies that engage you in strategic turn-based battles. Now this is a great choice for RPG fans who are really looking for that classic gameplay experience, but with a little bit more of a modern twist. So Hi-Fi Rush is a thrilling rhythm-based action game that puts you in the shoes of Kai, a wannabe rock star who has a music player stuck in his chest that allows him to sync his moves with the beat of the music. With this newfound superpower, he decides to take on this evil corporation and its allies in these fast-paced rhythm-based battles. Now with your trusty old guitar in your hand, fighting in this game is all about timing your attacks right to blow these pesky bots to bits in style. Hi-Fi Rush has received overwhelmingly positive reviews from players and you will see why when you boot it up on your Xbox console. This has been one that I've really enjoyed. It's definitely another unique experience on this list and one that I couldn't recommend more. So Dead Island 2 recently dropped on Game Pass and it was a surprise and I've been having a blast. This is a game you should play if you are just a fan of senseless chaos. In this game you play as only one of few survivors in the city of Los Angeles after a deadly virus has turned everyone into zombies. Now your job is to find out how this virus spread while tearing apart those monsters with an arsenal of deadly weapons and gruesome executions. Now, there's not much of a story here, but if you want some mindless fun, you're honestly not going to find anything better on this list than Dead Island 2. Now, if zombies aren't your thing, but you have that desire for some intense combat, Monster Hunter Rise might fill that void. This series has long been a fan favorite for RPG fans who enjoy strategic real-time battles that push their limits as they attack, dodge, and parry these colossal monsters. Now, I've really enjoyed the battles in Rise. They are purely exhilarating, especially with the variety of weapons at your disposal. From massive swords to lethal axes, you have them all, and you'll be crafting and looking for loot and parts to go ahead and build these awesome weapons. This is a fun one. It has a really nice little loot mechanic that really gets you hooked and playing all the time for many hours. This one's available on Game Pass for console, cloud, and PC. So LEGO Star Wars is one of my personal favorite Star Wars games in the series, and for good reasons. This action-adventure game seamlessly combines two completely different worlds in a way that captivates fans of both. In this game, you get to experience the entire saga across all nine major movies, from The Phantom Menace all the way to Rise of the Skywalker. And as for the gameplay, 
gameplay. This game lets you do a ton of fun stuff. You can explore a vast open world with 23 unique planets and a ton of iconic areas that you would see in the movies. You will also meet over 300 different characters from the franchise, and you'll be engaging in some exhilarating lightsaber duels against the forces of evil. The game's also got single player and you can completely play co-op. This is a fun one and fun for all ages so anybody in the family can play from the youngest all the way to the oldest and you'll just have an absolute blast. Now another Star Wars game that I think deserves a spot on this list is Jedi Fallen Order. Set after the events of Order 66, the game puts you in the shoes of a young Jedi Padawan named Cal who vows to rebuild the fallen Jedi Order. But in order to do that though, you will have to fight the Galactic Empire and the Imperial Inquisitors. Speaking of fights, the lightsaber battles in this game are absolutely a marvel. They're intense, they're gorgeous, but fighting's not all you do. There's a whole universe to explore, puzzles to solve, secrets to uncover, and a cast of colorful characters to spend time with. It's almost like you're living your very own version of a Star Wars movie. So Bethesda's widely popular Elder Scrolls series is available on Game Pass with three amazing titles. We have Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, we have Skyrim, and then we have Elder Scrolls Online. And all these games are incredibly awesome. Each one features expansive, open world environments that are fully detailed and filled with countless locations to explore. But the thing that I like the most about this series is that it gives you total control over your player and your journey. You can create your own path and play the game however you choose. You can take on epic quests, you can join guilds, you can explore dungeons, or you can just simply sit down with random NPCs and talk about life. The possibilities are quite endless in this game. It's one of the best fantasy games that have been ever made all across the board. And while we wait for a new Elder Scrolls game, this is one that you should absolutely enjoy. So if you guys are fans of the franchise Mass Effect, or if you've never even heard of it or played it, well, you're in luck, man. There's three iconic Mass Effect games all in one single legendary edition. You get to play your favorite Commander Shepard, who takes on a wild journey to save the whole universe in one of the most memorable adventures that has ever existed. The game is super rich when it comes to story and gameplay. You can do so much other than just completing quests. You can build relationships. You can engage in deep conversation with NPCs. You can explore world politics. You can even fall in love. And you'll make choices that not only affect your journey in this game, but you'll be carrying out all those choices and bringing them to the next game in the series. This one's available on console and cloud. It's one of my favorite franchises of all time and one that I couldn't recommend more. Now, lastly, while at the time of this video being published, this game isn't out just yet, Diablo 4 is making its way to Game Pass and I'm just really excited about it. This latest addition to the iconic RPG series offers everything that you'd expect from a great top-down role-playing looter title, from a compelling narrative and exceptional voice acting, to Diablo's highly addicting combat and loot mechanics. This game has something really for everyone. I've always been a fan of Diablo's challenging yet equally rewarding battles that combine strategic equipment hunting and talent trees with players' own combat skills. And there's lots of different builds that you can really come up with, and of course, the actual combat and gameplay is honestly just really, really that good and really that addicting. Even the story in Diablo 4 is a lot more compelling than previous games. It's really a great title overall, but if you guys want a bigger list of the best games on Game Pass, make sure you check out that video on the screen.